everyone a warm welcome myself bitu lambe vidya academy of science and technology our topic is chain rule of differentiation it's an important result of differentiation because all of you know the basic results of differentiation and rules in differentiations like derivative of sum is sum of the derivatives similarly derivative of difference is difference of the derivatives next derivative of product you consider the product uv its derivative is u v dash is equal to u into v dash plus v into u dash that is first function into derivative of second plus second into derivative of first next you consider a quotient u by v its derivative is u by v dash is equal to v square upon v into u dash minus u into v dash that is here denominator square upon denominator into derivative of numerator minus numerator into derivative of the denominator see this is quotient rule suppose we have a function sin of x square in appearance we can see sin and x square we know derivative of sin theta is cos theta and derivative of x square is 2x but most of the students face difficulty while differentiating sin x square because it's not a sum not a difference not a product and not a quotient here sin of x square is composition of two functions sin and the polynomial x square so we can differentiate by applying chain rule of differentiation and it is derivative of f of gx is f dash gx into g dash x that is you write the derivative of the basic function f next multiply it by the derivative of the inside function in sin of x square the basic function is sin and the inside function is x square so for writing the derivative of sin x square you consider it's the basic function which is sin and derivative of sin is cos so you write cos x square next you multiply the derivative of the inside function which is x square and its derivative is 2x so derivative of sin x square is cos x square into 2x let me illustrate how to apply chain rule of differentiation firstly consider a simple function which is 3x plus 1 upon base is 7 how to find its derivative first derivative of sin x square is 3x plus 1 upon base is 7 so first you have to write y dash y dash is nothing but derivative of x we have the basic results see you can find y dash by using derivative of x raised to the base nx raised to the minus 1 See, we have a derivative of x raised to the base, n x raised to n minus one. Here, n is seven. In the place of x, it is three x plus one. We have to apply chain rule. First, we have to apply this result with n equal to seven. So its derivative is seven into three x plus one, the whole raised to six into. Instead of x, it is three x plus one. So we have to multiply by its derivative. That is, its derivative is. So y dash is 21 3x plus 1 the whole raised to 6. Next consider another function y is equal to 4x cube minus 3x square plus 1 raised to 6. Here again you consider this result with the uh, n equal to 6. So derivative of x raised to n is n x raised to n minus one. So it is six into four x cube minus three x square plus one. The whole ratio five into. You have to multiply by its derivative. Its derivative is twelve x square minus six x plus zero. So its derivative is this one. Next consider y is equal to root two x plus one. Y dash is. We know derivative of root x. What is derivative of root x? It is one by two root x. You can clear your mind. Derivative of root x is one by two root x. It is a uh, very useful in quantification and differentiation. So you have to keep in your mind. Really, it is root x means x raised to half. Its derivative is n x raised to n minus one. That is half into x raised to minus half. That is half into one by 
root x, that is 1 by 2 root x. So you keep in your mind the derivative of root x is 1 by 2 root x. So basically we have this result. You have placed this result here. So its derivative is 1 by 2 into root 2x plus 1. Here instead of x it is 2x plus 1. So you have to multiply by its derivative. Its derivative is 2. 2 will cancel. So 1 by root 2x plus 1. See here the chain rule is basically you consider the given function with the standard results. Then you apply the standard result. Then you have to multiply by the inside uh, multiply by the derivative of the inside function. Next consider next consider the function root of 3x square minus 2x plus 1. We have to write its derivative. How to write its derivative? Its derivative is see it is in the form root x. Derivative of root x is 1 by 2 root x. That is here x, uh, in the place of x it is this 1. So 3x square minus 2x plus 1. We have to multiply by its derivative. Its derivative is 6x minus 2. See this is the derivative. Then next you can make simplifications. You can remove a 2 from numerator and denominator. So it is 3x minus 1 by square root of 3x square minus 2x plus 1. Next consider 1 by root 5x plus 1. Let it divide. You have to write by dash. So really this is 5x plus 1 but always to minus half. Again you apply the result. The radio of x ratio is mx ratio and minus 1. So here n is minus half. In the place of x it is 5x plus 1. So its derivative is minus half into 5x plus 1 but always to minus half minus 1 into the derivative of this function it is 5. So minus 5 by 2, 5x plus 1, the whole ratio minus 3 by 2. So this is its derivative. This is the function. y is equal to 1 by root 3x squared minus 6. Here, really this is the form 3x squared minus x, the whole ratio minus 1 by 2. You apply the result, the derivative of x ratio is an x ratio. Minus 1 by taking n equal to minus half. So its derivative is minus half into 3x square minus x the whole ratio minus half minus 1 into the derivative of this function that is 6x minus 1. That is its derivative. So it is minus 6x minus 1 by 2 into 3x square minus x the whole ratio minus 3 by 2. Next, we have to differentiate certain functions which is based on the common function sine and cos. You consider the function sine x squared. You have to write its derivative, let it be y. So, y dash. V of derivative of sine x is cos x. Also, derivative of cos x is minus x. Here, we have to apply the derivative of sine x. Basically, it is sine function. We know derivative of sine theta is cos theta. In the place of theta, it is x squared. So the basic function is sine and its derivative is cos, cos x squared. Again, how to multiply? See, derivative sine theta is cos theta. In the place of theta, it is x squared. So you have to multiply the derivative of x squared. The derivative of x squared is 2x. See, this is the derivative of the one function. That is 2x into cos x squared. y equal to sine x raised to 4 minus x plus 1. How can we differentiate? Any by function of function rule. Because we know the derivative of sine theta is cos theta. Uh, so here the given function is basically sine. So we have to apply with that result, result. And again with the help of chain rule you can give this derivative. So the derivative of sine theta is cos theta. So its derivative is cos. Raised to 4 minus x plus 1 into 
the place of theta is x raised to 4 minus 6 plus 1. So you have to multiply by its derivative, that is 4x cube minus 1. So that is the derivative is 4x cube minus 1 into cos x raised to 4 minus x plus 1. This is its derivative. Next consider y equal to cos x minus 1. We know the derivative of cos theta is minus sin theta. Basically, this is cos. And the place of theta is x minus 1. So, y dash is the derivative of cos theta is minus sin theta. So, minus the place of theta is x minus 1. Next, we have to multiply by its derivative. Its derivative is 1. So, the answer is minus sin x minus 1. Next, to consider the function y equal to cos sin x. Again, we have the place of the derivative of cos theta is sin theta. Here, the place of theta is sin x. So, you apply the derivative of cos theta equal to sin theta. You apply that result and again you multiply by the derivative of sin x. So, derivative y dash is minus sin of sin x into you have to multiply the derivative of sin x. It is cos x. So the derivative is minus sin sin x into cos x. This is its derivative. Next consider the function cos root x. We know the derivative of cos theta is minus sin theta. In the place of theta it is root x. So here Basically, the function is cos, you apply its derivative, then multiply by the derivative of x. Then you will get the derivative, that is y dash is equal to minus i root x into derivative of root x. It is 1 by 2 root x. Hence, the answer is minus 1 by 2 root x into sin root x. This is its derivative. Next, consider the function. Sin e raised to x square. You can solve the function sin e raised to x square. What is this derivative? Basically, it is sine function. The derivative of sine is cos. So cos e raised to x square into you have to multiply its derivative. Here again you have to apply the chain rule. We know the derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x. Here, see here, x is linear, but here it is x square. So, again, you have to apply chain rule. But basically, this is an exponential function. So you, so, you multiply by its derivative. Its derivative is e raised to x square into, in place of x, it is x square. So, you have to multiply by its derivative. That is 2x. So, its derivative is 2x e raised to x square cos e raised to x square. See, really here I uh, here I took this e raised to x square here because for avoiding the confusion with this angle. So this is y dash. Next to consider function y equal to e raised to surface. Y is e raised to sin x. You apply this result. The derivative of e raised to x is e raised to x itself. So the derivative is e raised to sin x. In the place of x, it is sin x. So you have to multiply by its derivative. Its derivative is cos x. That is y dash is cos x in e raised to sin x. Let's consider these functions. Log 1 plus x. Log 1 minus x log x square sine of log x. You have to find the derivatives of these functions by its chain rule. So consider the first one. Let y equal to log 1 plus x. We know the derivative of log x is 1 by x. Basically it is log and log. So you apply this result. y dash is 1 by 1 plus x into the derivative of this function. The derivative of this function is 1 itself. So its derivative is 1 by 1 plus x. 
Next function or next question that is y is equal to log 1 minus x. That is y dash is 1 by 1 minus x into minus 1. So its derivative is minus 1 by 1 minus x. Let's consider log x square. Its derivative is 1 by x square into 2x. How to multiply the derivative of 2x square? It is 2x. You make the cancellation. It is 1 by x. Right. Sorry, it is 2 by x. It is 2 by x. Next, to consider the last function. y equal to sine log x. See, basically it is sine function. Here it is sine of log x. So basically it is sine function. So you apply the result. The derivative of sine x is cos x. Here the place of x it is log x. So y dash is cos log x into 1 by x. So its derivative is cos log x by x. See this is chain rule. So for applying chain rule you conserve the function. And you notice uh, the basic function. Next you apply the basic result of differentiation of that function. Next you have to multiply the derivative of the inside function. This is chain rule. 